What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today, I have for you guys a deep dive and testing into the Rovi Vaughn A8 Generation 4. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, do me a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. It really helps get these videos pushed out there to more people. And feel free to let me know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite everyday carry flashlight is as well. So, Huge shout out to Roby Vaughn for sending this over for us to take a look at. This is my first experience with Roby Vaughn. I have looked at their products many, many times and wanted to try some of them out. And now we get to do so. So this is the Generation 4 Aurora A8 from Roby Vaughn. And this thing is packed full of features, guys. Let me get this off and quit blinding you. It comes in this nice little plastic case here. Uh, and then it does have an insert that I took out just for time's sake. It comes with a little card that tells you to unlock it when you get it because it is going to be locked. So it doesn't just turn on uh, in transit or whatever. So you have a nice little storage case here if you need. It also comes with some other paperwork. It comes with some other little goodies as well. The pocket clip will be housed in the insert it does not come on the flashlight you will have to put it on as you see it here and it's going to carry nice and deep but the really cool thing is this is going to be able to be thrown on a keychain uh, a key ring a lanyard however you know you would like to carry this you can do so you can also switch it to this magnetic tail base and they also include an extra rubber piece rubber insert for your USB-C uh, plug in there that way, in case something ever happens to the one that's installed, you have the ability to put a new one on it. Now, let's go over a couple of specs. If you're just interested in testing, you can fast forward until you see me outside uh, in the dark with the light. So I believe I have the 6500 cool white here, and we have a half a lumen as our first setting at 72 hours. We're not going to get any distance off of that, really. We have 25 lumens at 8 hours, 160 candela there, 22 meters. We have 200 lumens. It'll drop down to 80 after one minute. It'll run for two hours at that. And then we have 650 lumens that drops down to 80 after one minute there at one and a half hours. And then we have 63 meters on the medium, 200, and then 110 meters on the high. That way you can pause and read if you needed to. And then we have a 60.5 millimeter length. We have 15.6 millimeter diameter. Uh, the weight is going to be 17.6 grams because this is the A8, not the A6. And then the A8 is using a TIR lens. We have a 330 milliamp hour battery that is built in lithium. And, you know, there's a lot to be said that could be said about a built in battery. They do provide you with a little bit of comfort that may be something with an external rechargeable battery or just an external regular battery. Those cannot provide for you because if you have a flashlight that takes a basic AAA or you have a external rechargeable battery style of flashlight, I recommend having one of each along with a built-in. But the thing about a built-in is most of us all have items that require a USB-C, right? I know I do. My phone does, uh, my arc lighter, various flashlights, and I have other things that require USB-C as well. So that means I always have a USB-C in my sling bag. I always have a USB cord in my vehicle. I have tons of them at my house, right? And I always keep a battery bank with me just in case I need to charge my phone, my lighter, my flashlight, whatever it might be. But I always also keep a wall charger in my sling bag as well. So the ability to be able to charge this up pretty much whenever, wherever, if you are somewhat prepared with the flashlight, you'll always have the ability to give this a little bit of charge and get some use out of it if need be. On the other hand, if you have an external battery, if it's dead, 
you're you're done for. If you have an external battery and it's a AAA or AA and it dies and you have none around, then you have no ability, you have no ability to recharge that item back up. In the case of these built-ins, I think they are great to have. Would I solely rely on only a built-in flashlight? No, I wouldn't. But I think these make a great addition to your flashlights and the light game that you have. I would highly recommend having a built-in. I would highly recommend having a flashlight that takes regular external batteries. And I would also add in that have something that takes an external rechargeable battery as well. Have all three. That way you can cover a variety of you know different scenarios. So this little thing is packed full of features, guys. If we triple click, we're going to get into the body here. We single tap, that's going to give us the red light, solid red. We single tap again, it'll trickle, basically like a hazard light or a warning light. And then if we single click again, it's going to give us kind of like an SOS uh, type of mode there. We single tap again, it goes back to white. And then if we triple tap, it'll take us to the cooler white light or the bright white. And that's a low there. And then a single tap will take you into high. So that all features in the body there, which is really cool. Now, if we double tap, it'll take us over to the main flashlight there. And then to cycle through these, it is just a single tap. There is moonlight. There is low medium and high. So a very, it took me a minute to fit and then you hold it down to shut it off. It took me a few minutes to figure it out a couple extra few minutes. But once I did and you realize, okay, the user interface is pretty easy. Uh, it's a triple tap to get into the body. It's just a double tap in order to get into the main light. And then everything else is basically just single taps. Now, in order to get to your, your main body light, it is going to be a triple tap when the body light is on, I believe. I don't know if we can get there from, can we get there? So yeah, we can. Let me see here, hold on. So a triple tap. So if you go to a double tap from the main light, so if we're at the main light and you do a double tap or a triple tap, that's going to take you into the body of the light either way. And then if you double tap from that light, it'll take you over to the cool white light. So <laughs> there, there's different ways that you can kind of go about getting into that body there. But it does have a lot of different capabilities. Uh, and the cool thing is you can clip this somewhere and just use the body. And that's really going to conserve your battery life. If you're just trying to read something, you know, a little map or a little note or whatever it might be, something where you don't need a ton of output, that body light is going to be perfect. If you're right walking along the road, you're walking your dog, you know, up the sidewalk or something, that little uh, red light is going to be perfect for something such as that. Uh, that's a perfect little light right there to let people know, hey, I'm here. Uh, or you can, whoops, or you can do the blinking light, just, you know, something that's a little bit more eye catching. Uh, or if you need something, you know, definitely eye catching, you can use this guy here. Uh, so definitely some really cool features about this flashlight. Let's get outside and do some testing. All right, guys, so we are outside and the, the, the little body light is not going to be something that we're going to be able to really display and that is what the specs show as well you're you're only going to be able to see what is right in front of you but in the pitch black you can see how bright that uh cooler white light is and then if we go to the red 
you'll be able to really see you know what kind of output this thing actually has with that red light and then here is the blinking which is going to be also very you know eye-catching in the pitch black this is going to be very eye-catching so if you are walking your dog or riding a bike or anything like that uh, this is going to be very very noticeable now if we do a triple tap that's going to take us to our first and low light there which this does put off quite a bit of light we're not really going to be able to see much and that's exactly what it says now there's the high uh and and that's going to put out a decent amount of light i'm going to tilt the camera here so you guys can see that it really does put out a decent light uh from the body which is pretty impressive now let's go over to the main light there now that's going to be high the low mode, the moon mode, you're not going to see much off that, guys. But it will be good enough to read something off the, you know, off the, uh, like a book or a map or something. Now we get into the low mode. And that's going to give you a good eh, 20 meters or so. And I think that's about what they say. We'll step it up to medium. And that's really going to brighten up uh, your path. That's easily, uh, I don't know, boy, that's pretty good, guys. Uh, that's 200 lumens. That is definitely 100 meters, I bet. And then if we turn it up to high, boy, that really brightens things up, guys. Holy smokes. So that's all coming out of this little guy right here. That pavilion that you see way down at the end there. Sorry that the video is, uh, I think the lens got smeared on the way out here. So it's kind of fuzzy. But that tree that you see right there, uh, that's a good 80 feet or so uh, from here. So this really puts out a nice beam the pavilions probably about a hundred feet or so uh, maybe like 90 some feet so this really can shoot out a good beam now it will drop down to 80 lumens after a minute I was trying to see it do that and give that also a show here uh, it definitely puts out a nice light a surprisingly bright light 650 lumens uh which is nothing to sneeze at if it's a legitimate 650 and uh from all things i can tell and all things i know that is definitely 650 uh when it's full bore so at the price that these are which i believe they're coming in under 50 dollars uh i think but you can get them for like 45 uh, to $50, somewhere in that ballpark for the fourth generation. And I think that's a fair price for everything you're getting here. You can either have a very nice, solid keychain light, or you can have a nice, minimal uh, pouch flashlight, or just a pocket dropper uh, that's going to really give you, uh, if, if you're not really into something that's you know extremely heavy uh or what would be comparatively extremely heavy compared to something like this flashlights that have aluminum bodies that take you know an 18 650 or something like that they are going to be way heavier than something like this so if you're looking to stay ultra lightweight uh, or something like that these aurora a8s are going to be a nice option so as of right now, these are coming in at $46.95. That is with no sale. And I believe often these will have, you know, a 10% or some sort of discount code that they offer. So, uh, and if you're not interested in getting the uh, A8, 
You can go with the A5G4, which comes in about $38. Uh, you're still going to get 650 lumens, uh, but you're not going to get quite the uh, output that this one has to offer. So, you know, you have a couple of different options when it comes to these minimal keychain style flashlights. Uh, and I think Rovi Vaughn does a really good and solid job. I've heard nothing but good things about these flashlights. Uh, we're going to keep testing this and we'll give you a final uh, review, so to speak, of this here after a couple weeks and let you guys know how this is held up and how it is done because this is going to stay a staple in my EDC. We'll be moving it into a pouch roll. You guys will have to let me know what your experience has been with Roe v. Vaughn, if any, and if you have ever looked at or gotten one of these A8 flashlights. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Hit the thumbs up button. I always appreciate it, guys. And if you like flashlight and knife and all EDC content, you're in the right spot. Hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I'll throw up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.